is it possible that we can focus uh, on a, um, a development uh, agenda in which uh, politics plays a, a, a side role? Uh, could we uh, focus on a, a, a national economic recovery agenda uh, which is uh, informed by con convergence rather than competitive political uh, environment. At face value, this appears like a very radical call, but uh, what we are looking at is that uh, if uh, people are hoping that uh, at one point such a competitive political environment is going to provide solutions to the challenges Zimbabweans are facing, I think uh, this uh, uh, we, we can wait for a very, very long time. So what we are seeking <coughs> And, and I think uh, this uh, we will have to test this with many citizens, with citizens but we have a sense that uh, many citizens are, are tired of uh, continuing in this uh, political uh, cycle. Yes, yes. With the realization that uh, you know we we tend to be focused, you know, on the elections all the time. Uh, we we are either in a pre-election mode or in a post-election mode, you know, where elections are contested. Like now, we may say we are in a post-election mode where that election, as we were saying, where the elections, as we were saying, were contested. And very soon, you know, we are approaching 2023, we'll be in a pre-election mode. It doesn't give enough room you know, for the nation to develop. And we are saying, well, we need this Sabbath you know, in order to build uh, national cohesion uh, before we enter into any contestations. Uh, is because this must come from a consultative process. We think that uh, 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 if you start with a structure before uh, uh, citizens have agreed on a, on a principle, what you are simply doing is uh, to parrot what uh, we have always heard, uh, and we have had many, many structures being proposed. Um, and we have seen that in many cases when a structure is proposed without fundamental uh, and systemic uh, transformation taking place. Tra structures come and they go, and change never happens. We fail to bring the opposing parties together. Um, well, that's difficult to say. Um, what I can say this time is that we have engaged both sides, you know, the main political parties, and the leaders are actually in favor you know, of having this dialogue. Uh, only that it hasn't happened until now, but we keep trying. Uh, and with this Sabbath arrangement, we hope uh, it will make the dialogue uh, even easier. So I, I think if you are measuring in terms of time, this is, it, the, the dialogue has not matured to that uh, level. But uh, what uh, the, the Sabbath call does is to introduce substance also into the dialogue. So uh, it's a um, uh, the, it provides some content, what that dialogue could look like, what could it entail. Uh, but what it also does is that it demystifies the assumption that this dialogue should only be between uh, two political uh, contestants, but it must be a dialogue that is multi-structural. It must happen at grassroots, uh, addressing national uh, questions. It, there is no one, no one who is insignificant to the engagement because everyone brings certain capital, and uh, and and I think uh, that uh, you think uh, the opposition is uh, is in a weak position, so they can embrace everything. I'm not sure if this is the case, but also to assume that uh, the the government of the day uh, would not be willing to engage everyone, so that we find a lasting solution a working solution that comes from us as a collective. Whether you call it government of national unity, whatever name you give it, what is important is the substance. Mm -hmm. Are we able to say across party, because most of us are not only politically active. Some are active economically wise, socially wise. So you cannot uh, lampoon everyone in a political basket. So that is what you must also remember. And also remember, there are about four uh, key outcomes we mentioned in this statement what we want to see, what is the end result. It's not only about the government, but the end result is a shared vision, an economic shared vision, a vision for the whole country as a collective. We want to be able to ensure that there is 
healing, harmonious relationship with them, and across all, and even the current efforts being done, we want to make sure everyone is involved in the local and international uh, engagement. The other components you can find that they are mentioned within that, um, then the question of what is the end result. So some may say you are parot paroting for one agent or a party, it is up to you to conclude, but you should be able to trust and follow the process to see what is it that the Lord has given us in this season as we seek to bring the nation. It's one thing to look at the end product as a structure, but I think uh, what we are calling the nation to do is to look at the end product as the content. What should the end product do? What should it enable us to do? The end product must enable us to help Zimbabweans reconcile. The end product must enable us to chart a shared national economic agenda in which everyone is going to contribute. This end product must enable us to entrench our constitutional democracy uh, and to give us rest from oppressive and toxic political contestation. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.